Well, good afternoon, Jubilee United Church community. It is Thursday, April 23rd, and Colin and I are coming to you just to share some updates and be in contact with you so that uh, everyone is uh, hearing the same thing all the time and that we're just having a chance to be in touch with you. Um, as you'll remember, it's been two years since we announced that uh, Colin was coming to us as our associate minister and doing his supervised educational ministry here at Jubilee. And uh, it's been amazingly almost two years now. Um, and we've always known that it was going to come to an end. And uh, Colin's going to share some news about what that looks like for him and for his family. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been an amazing two years and we are really thankful for Colin and for Lauren and Emma and Alicia and Isabel and for the lay support team uh, made up of Barb Tunnicliffe and um, Nancy Baird, Glow McCarter and Bill Gilpin. They have done an amazing amount of work with Colin and I uh, over these two years so uh, we are a grateful people and uh, Colin I know you want to share some stuff with this community. Yeah, I, I sure do, uh, Graham. Uh, thank you all. You know, I, I just wanted to start by saying thank you. Um, what I wrote was, I wish to thank all of you uh, for the love, support, and trust that you've all shown me over the past two years. Um, believe me, it's been a warm, wonderful place to, to learn and live. This has been an unspeakably joyful posting and a truly warm and loving faith community for Lauren, Alicia, Isabel, Emma, and me. We are all appreciative of the warmth and respect that uh, you have shown each and every one of us. We all knew that the time was coming when we would need to part, and uh, I would need to continue my Navy career. Uh, I'm afraid that that time has come. There, uh, there has been challenges over the past year, and the discernment process has not always been easy either. Many of you might know that I found Graham's sabbatical quite challenging, but I'm sure that fewer of you knew anything about how that period has shaped my discernment process. I found myself both surprised and progressively more certain that my faith, my personal theologies and Christology have decidedly, uh, uh, decidedly Presbyterian flavor. <laughs> Most importantly, I believe that God is calling me to service in the Presbyterian church and that the signs of this are clear and persuasive. Don't worry about any uncertainty or any sort of challenge that me or the rest of the Brown family uh, might have, might face over the next little while. Uh, you might just see Emma and her sisters over the next little while. We have no intention of isolating them from their faith community. I have received a great deal of support from this community, but I have a sim similar support system within, the pres within Presbyterian circles. I'm optimistic and even enthusiastic about the coming year, and if I should be ordained in the Presbyterian Church of Canada in about a year, I will be sure to let Graham know about it. So don't worry, I'm not gonna suddenly disappear. God bless you all. Know that I will miss you and I will always look back on my time here fondly. Colin. Thanks, Colin. <clears throat> Uh, we want to let folks know just so that we um, are clear in our uh, in our boundaries and our timing and all of that sort of stuff that uh, Colin will continue to work with us for the next week and a half. Um, and on May 3rd, he will give his final sermon and we will do some goodbye liturgy stuff. It's really weird not to do it in person. So um, we'll figure out how that's going to look because it's going to be really different. Um, saying goodbye is always difficult and not being able to do it in person will make it even harder. So uh, this is the news we want to share with you today and we do it with gratitude um, and with joy as Colin figures out what the next steps are and that we can still support him and his family with prayer. 
and hopefully a place for uh, his girls to still have a community because I know some of the places that uh, Colin's involved with outside of here don't really have a children's program. So, um, and we're looking forward to that continued relationship. So um, as we move on and move forward, I wanna offer this blessing to Colin. The God of love is with us in every transition and change. And we enter into this new era with excitement and some anxiety but we recall God's deep compassion, presence, and abounding love upon you. We are thankful for the gifts, the talents, and the skills with which God has blessed us and you have blessed us. We thank God for the experiences that have brought us to this moment and for the work that others, the work of others that gives breadth and depth to our own work. We move forward rejoicing with God, rejoicing with Colin, rejoicing with each other and supporting one another, asking in the holy name of God, to be upon him and each of us. Amen. And again, just a really big thank you to the lay support, support team for Barb, Nancy, Glow, and Bill, um, yeah. and for the Transitional Council and now the executive team, which uh, offered so much support during this time too, so. You guys have been great, and believe me, I love you all. Great. So, uh, friends, enjoy this day, and, um, we will uh, continue to talk about what what this good ending looks like, knowing that we do it uh, in full support of each other and with the love of God. Have a good day. Amen. Have a good day.